Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Dean. How are you doing? It's holiday time here. It at is the Christmas time. Cottage. Yeah. Yep. One of our favorite cookies are these uh, vanilla crescents. Okay. That I make every year, and I make hundreds of them because yeah. everybody likes them. Yes. Um, they are. Um, this one comes from Austria, but they uh, exist in all the cultures. You can find them in Italy. You can find them in Norway. Different, and they have different names. They're called vanilla crescents. Okay. And yeah. they have some, uh, I use uh, pecans in them. Yes. Flour, two cups of flour, one cup of icing sugar, two eggs, um, pecans, about a cup or so, a cup and a half. Yes. And then we use um, half of a pound of butter. Okay. Okay. As well, and we just cut that up into pieces like that. Right? So this is your baking marble, yeah. right? Yeah, this is a baking marble enough to use, nice and cold. Right? Yeah. So here is the butter. Half a pound of butter. Okay. okay. Very simple. And yes. I simplified the recipes. My mother my mother's took forever. Yes. And I just simplified it. It works fantastic. So what we'll do is we put in two cups of flour, regular flour. Don't pastry flour is not necessary. One cup of icing sugar and then I take about that many nuts, throw them in. I usually take a little more because yep. it tastes better. And then you turn your When you don't hear the sound of the nut the nuts cracking anymore, that's when you stop. Maybe a little bit before that. So you want to have a little bite to it, right? And here? Yeah. So, about now, stop it. Put the butter in, all the butter in here, okay? And now it is very important that you um, process it not very long, just until the butter forms kind of rice-sized little pellets in here, right? Not not to totally cream it with the butter, okay? I'll show you. So now... It's still working a little hard, you can hear it. As soon as the sound changes, right now, So that's what it looks like. See, you can see, see, still see little butter bits and things, right? That's it. It's not creamed. It is still powdery, right? Does everyone have one of those kitchen oh, machines? Oh, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. If not, you have to do it by hand. Anyway, two okay. butters. Well, you wouldn't be able to do it by hand, would you? Yeah, my mom always did it by hand. Really? Well, she took the flour. Um, Ground the nuts separately, put the nuts in, yeah, okay. put the sugar in, and then cut in the butter and crumbled it up, you know, like you would right. do for a pie, right? Anyhow, and go from there. Yeah, you can see the cameraman in the background. You can, yeah. Okay. You can <laughs> Two hear. eggs and, and you a can good hear the big shot fridge. of vanilla, okay? Because they're called vanilla crescents, so that's it. Okay. So, now, turn it on, and now you wait until it forms a ball. So two eggs, vanilla. Two eggs, vanilla. That's all the liquid you need. Now if it's too dry, just whip up an egg. And just use a little part of an egg, right? Okay? See? Yeah. That's it. That's what it looks like. Has a little flour here on top, but it doesn't matter. What I do now. Could a fella eat that right now? Well, if a fella was named Dean, he would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so here, put a little uh, flour on your surface, okay? Take this out, drop it onto here, okay? See, very simple, quick cookie, very quick cookie. Yeah. Okay. 
The only challenge is the forming of the vanilla crescents of the crescents. Take it all out. Take a scraper. Scrape it all out. This is our first 4K movie. Yeah. And with this new iPhone 6S. Wonderful. Plus. Some advertising for iPhone. Okay. Yeah. Get your loved ones an iPhone and some vanilla crescents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, see. High there tech you go. meets High tech ancient meets tech here. Ancient. ancient tradition, not tech. Tech. Yeah. Tradition. Okay. See? Yep. That's the dough you have, and yep. that's the consistency. Can you feel it? I can feel it or anything. Yeah. yeah, okay. What I do now, take the. I usually make three or four of these because yep. I give them as presents, right? So I make all these things. Yep. Put them in the saran wrap. Yeah. And let it rest in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. Okay. We'll come back and you can show the magic okay. of how to make the little curly cues. Right. Okay, hey, that's rested for about yeah. an hour now. Rested for about an hour. Now here you're going to so show us. So now I pinch off little pieces of dough like that. Yeah. Go like this. Roll them up. Okay. And then go take the ends, press them in a little bit, and go like this. Okay. okay. I'll show you another one. Okay. Because most people don't know how to. I never see very nicely shaped. See, you don't want the ends too slim because otherwise they burn before the cookie is done. Yeah. So you kind of press it in a little bit, go like this. Again, take it like this. See this one, I press in and curl it around your middle finger and set it down. Okay? okay. Another one? Here. Beautiful. Perfect. Huh? So then you bake them at about 300 degrees yeah, for about 10 this. 12 minutes and not brown. You want them very light. Okay. Very light. Yeah. And then what you do is I'll take this out. Here I have a thing with icing sugar. Yeah. You take the cookies out of your, let's say these are the ones baked. Mm -hmm. I take the baking paper, put it together, and just slide them in here. Mm -hmm. And then you go like this. And then you shake them a little off, mm -hmm. right? And here you have wonderful vanilla crescents. And do that when they're still a little warm. Not hot, because otherwise the sugar, sugar melts. But when yeah. they're still a little warm. And here have you have your wonderful vanilla crescents. What's the Austrian name for vanilla crescents? Vanilla Kipfel. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla Kipfel. Kipfel is the German name. Kipfel being little crescents. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Yeah.